We can also often use models to help us when dealing with situations involving integers. In this problem, we're talking about an elevator. Okay, I drew a model of an elevator with the different floors of the building. And it's basically a number line that I put vertical. Instead of going horizontal, I had it going up and down. Here's my zero. You'll see all the numbers above the zero are positive. Floor one, floor two, three, four, five, six, and so on. The floors below zero are like negative numbers. We don't have un floors that are underground in Houston because we're at sea level. But if you go further up north, they have floors. They have what they call basements. And some of the office buildings, they have floors that go pretty deep or parking garages that go, you know, dip several levels underground. So the B stands for basement level. B1, basement level 1. That's like a negative 1. B2 is basement level 2. That's like a negative 2. It's two levels underground. So let's go ahead and work this, this problem. We're going to model it using our elevator number line. Steffi works on the ground floor at a museum restoring ancient vases. So the ground floor is where you enter the building from street level. That's going to be zero. That's where Steffi works. Using the elevator, she goes down two floors to get a broken vase. So she's going to go down two. So one, two. So the broken vase is on basement level two or negative two. She then goes up six floors to talk to an ancient civilization expert. So from the bo broken vase, she goes up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's now at floors four. And then she's going to go down three floors to meet a museum guide. So starting here, she goes down three. One, two, three. And she ends up on floor level one. You can also draw a number line to model a thermostat when talking about temperatures. First question, the temperature is 60 degrees. It rises 20 degrees by noon. What is the new temperature? If you'll notice, here's our zero for our number line. If I go below zero, I'm in the negative temperatures. If I go above zero, I'm in the positives. And my degrees, we're going by 10 degrees. So I'm going to start at 60 degrees. I'm going to start right here. And I want to rise 20 degrees. So here's 10 degrees, 20 degrees. I end up at 80 degrees. Second question. The temperature last night was 90 degrees. It dropped 25 degrees overnight. What is the new temperature? So we're going to start at 90 degrees and we're going to drop 25. So here's 10 degrees, here's 20 degrees, and for 25, we need 5 more. That's going to be halfway between the 60 and the 70. So here is the 25 degree drop, and the temperature that's halfway between 60 and 70 is 65. Be very careful. Don't think it's 75. You're going down. You have to remember that, not up. Okay, on your sheet of paper with your homework check questions, you're going to do question two and three. They're both due, or all three questions will be due tomorrow when you get to class. Homework check number two, the temperature is 20 degrees. It is expected to drop 30 degrees. What will the new temperature be? And question three, today's temperature is negative 15 degrees. It is expected to be 35 degrees warmer today. What will the temperature be today? This is the end of your video.